are out of sorts in Sunderland and terribly cross in Kent. They're dull in Hull and the Isle of Mull is seething with discontent. They're nervous in Northumberland and Devon is down the drain. They're filled with wrath on the Firth, the Fourth and Southern on Salisbury Plain. In Dublin they're depressed lads, maybe because they're Celts. For Drake is going west lads, and so is everyone else. Hooray, 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 misery's on the way. There are bad times just around the corner. There are dark clouds hurtling through the sky. And it's no good whining about a silver lining, for we know from experience that they won't roll by. With the skull and a frown, we'll keep our peckers down and prepare for depression and doom and dread. We're going to unpack our troubles from our old kit bag and wait until we drop down dead. There are bad times just around the corner. The horizon's gloomy as can be. The blackbirds over, the greyish cliffs of Dover, and the rats are preparing to leave the BBC. We're an unhappy breed and very bored indeed when reminded of something that Nelson said. And while the press and the politicians nag, 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 we'll wait until we drop down there. Bonjour. Très contente mercredi ou très contente homebrew mercredi. Ce soir, je suis en euh, juin de pain près de Antibes dans le sud de la France pour mon euh, travail, pour une semaine seulement. I know in English. So yes, happy homebrew Wednesday. Um, as I said earlier, I'm here for a week for work, doing some uh, French language skills, and we're better to learn some new and better French language skills than in the south of France. Uh, unfortunately, the weather hasn't been brilliant whilst we've been here. Um, although on Monday of this week, when I went Wednesday, um, we did get um, a lovely day and we did have a half day. So that's the only time this week we're going to get a chance really to have a look around and uh, go down to the front to the beach and have a little paddle in the Mediterranean Sea, as you saw from the photographs I put on at the beginning of the clip. There aren't great amounts of beers to choose from, or decent beers to choose from, in the south of France. Um, it's not noted for its fantastic beers. And in fact, since I've been here, the only one I've had on, uh, on draft is Affligem, which is in fact a Belgian beer, um, which is very tasty. But of course, it hasn't all been hard work whilst I've been here, as you've seen from a couple of the pictures. But I thought I would review a beer today that I found in the local spa. Uh, which is not far from where I'm staying in this student accommodation. And just for a change, because I haven't had it, I thought it might be nice to share that with you. So it's coming now. It is. Another Belgian beer. Strange that I should have chosen that. I wonder why. And uh, let's have a go. Let's see if I can master it like Christian does. I tried in my last one and failed miserably. And I think I'm going to try fail miserably again so I don't spill it. So I'll be back in a second. There we go. As if by magic it opened. That was a slight hiss. Not massive. Not massively strong. 5.5. And as I would say in my part of the world, have you got any proper glasses, pet? Unfortunately, I'm going to use what we've got here. So 
Oh, cheers, my friends, on the uh, what's it called again? Mort Subit White Lambic, or Wit Lambic, rather. Well, it is a white beer. Cheers. Oh, you've got normal smell in there. I suppose I shouldn't say cheers, should I? I say them in French. I should say salut. Or à votre santé. You can see it's quite cloudy because it's just come out of the fridge and it's very cold. You saw a picture of what my fridge looked like. Put a few beers in for this few days I'm here. <sighs> Pardon me. It's quite well carbonated, as you can tell, but it has a lovely Belgian beer taste. Now, I was also expecting a slightly more acidic flavour with it being a lambic, but it's it's really nice. It's smooth. Um, it's French, French coursing. Oh, that's very good. Five and a half percent, twenty-five centiliters. And it's French queer thing. Um, of course, what I meant to say was it's thirst quenching. I'll never live that one down. Just wait till I've had the four that's in there. Crumbs. So yes, very nice indeed. So, whilst I've been here, sorry about the, sh the jiggling, I'm uh, recording this on my phone as I'm on uh, location. And I'll transfer it over onto the laptop later on this evening and get it loaded up for you guys. Um, yeah, so this week it's been uh, busy. I arrived here Sunday. It was pouring with rain. I mean, pouring with rain. And then, you know, it's not something you expect in the south of France. I think, I believe they get about 30 days rain a year. Uh, but it was, as they say in um, French, il pleut. Comme une vache qui pisse. It's raining like a pissing cow. I think that's far better than cats and dogs, don't you? Anyway, that's exactly what it was doing on Sunday. Oh, I'm at an angle there. Uh, Monday, sun came out. A uh, lovely sunny day. In the morning, I was in lessons, learning my French grammaire. Uh, that's not my grandma, who's French, of course. And then we had the afternoon off, so we had a little walk down to La Plage, uh, à Joan le Pain, and had a couple of beers on the front, and I've already put you a few of those pictures up, and I hope you enjoyed them. Tuesday, yesterday, it was a little bit overcast, uh, rained a little bit, and then we were down uh, in the classes all day. Well, I had in the morning again, grammar, grammaire, and um, in the afternoon we had um, what's called intensif, which is basically four of us in a class all talking to each other non-stop in French, uh, and we've been using the uh, the imparfait and uh, the passé tense of the past tense. So uh, it's been quite full on. Today, very similar, going over there again. Um, and then the weather, it's been nice today, as you've seen a few pictures from today as well. And uh, unfortunately this evening, it's been raining a little bit. I'll show you a view out the window, don't know how, it, how it'll go. So you can see, it's a little damp. A little bit of sunshine up there, but we are getting on late in the evening now. Forecast tomorrow is very hot um, and very sunny. So, shorts and t-shirt are the order of the day. I'll see if I can sneak out at lunchtime to get a little bit of sun, uh, coffee, and then we're out.
for an evening meal. I'm not having an evening meal tonight because I'm filling in this for you guys. Um, but I'm sure I'll make up for it tomorrow night. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure you, you won't mind me doing that. So, that's about all I've got to say for this week. Uh, when I get home, the Citra pail should be ready. It should have finished dry hopping. Uh, so I get home on Saturday uh, tea time. Uh, four o'clock-ish. And um, on Sunday, I'll keg the uh, Citra pail. And we'll see how that goes. I may take some footage of that for next week. And that's about it. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm catching up with all of the SJ Paul videos. It's been really good. And uh, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in and subscribing. And I, uh, please write some comments below as I really appreciate the comments you make. And we'll see you on the next Homebrew Wednesday. Till then. Au revoir et à bientôt. I forgot to say, um, a bit like uh, Christian Brubeer, um, this is a super drink. It's a nice beer. It's defi definitely uh, a French Quester. And you can buy that in your local spa in the south of France for one euro thirty-five centime. If you're passing, draw in. <laughs>